So I'm holding up in my, um, my hotel slash bathroom until uh, the sun comes up and I can catch a shuttle to the Fontana Dam. And I just wanted to, to mention, because I keep thinking about it, of the, uh, the sleeping bag that I got. So if you don't know anything about me, and most of you don't, uh, I was in the Army for 32 years, and I don't know what the Army does to their sleeping bags, but they suck. Uh, they literally issue them, and they give you this big block of ice that goes in the bottom of them, and you wake up with cold feet. It doesn't matter. You could be um, on the equator in August, and if you get in that bag, you're going to have cold feet in the morning. Um, but I retired from the army and I didn't think anything of it because, I mean, I was there for 32 years and that's just how it is. You wake, you go to bed, you wake up, you have cold feet. Um, and so uh, when, I, when I left the army and I retired, I bought a sleeping bag. I, I literally bought it from Walmart and it said 20 degrees on it. Woohoo, that's going to work. And um, so I, I brought it out here and I am literally a guy who just picked up a bag and said I'm going to go hike the Appalachian Trail. I wanted to do it for 15 years, but I did like zero prep. Like people are telling me, um, I, I, I tell them I, I need some walking sticks and they're like, trekking poles? Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, a guy named Joe Hall, who I was hiking with uh, uh, for a couple of days, uh, he knows a lot about hiking and, and gear and he shook down my gear and he's like, dude, you don't need a sleeping bag. And I'm like, the sleeping bag rocks, man. It's 20 degrees, whatever. Uh, you know, I get in it. And I wake up and my feet are cold. That is the norm. Um, so there was one night where it was like 19 degrees and I was freezing. I got zero sleep because I was just concentrating on trying to stay warm. I had two pair of socks on, I had polypropylene on, and I was in my sleeping bag. And I took my compression sacks, the waterproof ones, the one from my tent and the one from my sleeping bag, and I put one on each foot to try to get that radiating heat going. Nothing. Uh, I got into my hike the next morning, and for the first hour or two, I couldn't feel my feet. Of using them, I couldn't feel my feet. Uh, so when I went into um, uh, Franklin, uh, I stayed at a, at a hostel, uh, Chica's and Sunset's, which was amazing. Uh, Sunset took me uh, to Outfitter 76, which were they were super nice people, um, to get a sleeping bag, and so I got one, and I got a. Uh, guide 20 and it was by the North Face and let me tell you I I got into that thing first off it was super lightweight and then the other thing was um, I slept in Ranger panties I have never gotten into a sleeping bag and said I, I need to put I don't need to put stuff on uh, but I did I was like holy cow I woke up sweating um, I, I can get rid of all my my uh, my, my sleeping gear because I haven't used it since, and it's been like three, three or four days. Um, so kudos to the North Face, uh, the Guide series, awesome. Um, other than that, y'all have a great day.